Hello, my name is Mark Kirk from the University of Wyoming Museum of Vertebrates. Today I'm going to guide you through the process of how to bulk load data in ArcDOS. Bulk loading provides a fast and efficient way to upload many data records at once, compared with just entering data records manually one at a time. We can navigate to the bulk loader by going to Enter Data, Bulk Loader, Bulk Load Specimens. The first thing we want to do is download a bulk loader template here under the bulk loader builder. If we scroll down here to format, we can see that we can download a template here as a CSV Excel file. On this right hand side, we can see that there are different column headers for the different data fields that we can download for each of the respective information we have pertaining to our specimens. You're going to want to discuss with your curator beforehand what specific information you have associated with each of your specimens. ArcDOS has selected some particular column headers here, which are the minimum number of data fields required for uploading data to ArcDOS. If you want more information on interpreting what each of these column header means, you can go to Enter Data, Bulk Loader, Bulk Loader Docs. And the Bulk Loader Docs file, when you scroll down, will provide a short description as well as the data type that is required for each of those different data fields that you will enter for your bulk loader template. So once you've downloaded your bulk loader template, you'll get an Excel CSV file that looks very similar to this one in which you'll have these sets of column headers across the top, which refer to each of the data fields that you need to provide information for with respect to your specimens. Some of the most basic required information you're gonna to need to provide will include catalog numbers and extension numbers, information pertaining to collector agent identifications, the name of the people who collected these specimens. You'll note in our particular instance, these fields are left blank. That means we don't know who the collector agent was. You can also enter unknown in that particular instance. Importantly, collector identification information needs to be entered into ArcDOS before beginning the bulk loading process. So you want to check with your curator beforehand to make sure that the agent records already exist before uploading. You'll need taxonomic information pertaining to genus and species names. You'll need information pertaining to how the identifications were made, when they were made, and who they were made by. With respect to information pertaining to when the specimen was collected, you'll need to provide a verbatim date as well as a begin date and an end date. Importantly, all date fields except for verbatim date need to be in the year, month, day format. So ensure that your Excel file has been formatted for that custom date before beginning the, um, the data entry process. Verbatim date doesn't have to follow that format. It can represent a particular day or it could represent a year or month of when the collection was made. And then the begin and the end date provide the window surrounding that verbatim date. You need to provide the verbatim locality, which is the exact description of the location that the original collectors provided. You'll need information pertaining to higher geography, which goes to the county level. You're going to want to provide latitudes and longitudes of the particular collection location, which will be derived from the verbatim locality. And then you're going to want to provide some amount of air that is associated, some level of uncertainty with that geo-referencing location. So if the collectors provided a specific latitude and longitude of the site, then you're going to have a small air. Whereas if the location was only described to the county level, then you'll have a higher amount of air associated with your latitude and longitude. And you can calculate that air using the geolocate tool within ArcDOS. And then finally, you want information pertaining to the park condition, where it's located, its disposition, and then the number of specimens within the lot. Okay, so once you've got your data entered, just like what we have here, you can save it as the CSV file and get ready to upload it. I highly recommend before going through the uploading process that you open that CSV file as a notepad
and to ensure that there's no hanging rows within that file if you see we call if we click below the number three here there's this hanging extra low hanging extra row and the bulk loader is not going to like that so we're just going to delete that and then resave it and now we're ready to upload it so let's go back to the enter data bulk loader bulk load specimens we're going to scroll down here to where it says choose our file and we're going to select the file that we want to upload And then we're going to select upload this file. It says that there are three records in the staging table. This is confirming how many records we're planning to upload to Arctos. And so I had three records. So that checks out. Then I'm going to select check and load these records. And we get a message. One of three records will not successfully load. If all of our records were accurate, it would say three of three records have been loaded. But instead, Arctos is telling us there's something wrong with one of these records. So what we can do is select download data with errors. And then we're going to download an Excel CSV file, which is very similar to our template file that you upload previously it's going to have all the same column headers except it's going to provide an additional column now which refers to loaded right here and loaded is going to tell us which of those records did not successfully load and it says here that the taxonomic name for this particular species was not found and it looks like it's misspelled importantly i would highly recommend that before you go through the process of fixing all of those records that there was a problem was, I recommend going back to the bulk loader, bulk load specimens, and deleting our CSV file that we were attempting to upload by collecting, selecting here, delete everything from the bulk loader staging table, and then select, yep, delete away. The bulk loader is a shared tool and thus can only be used by one person at a time. So we want to make sure that its application time is minimized as much as possible. We don't want to use it any more than we have to. So we now know that this one species record is wrong. What we can do is we can exit out, go back to that original template file that we had, and we can go through now and correct all of the mistakes that you had in the previous uploading attempt. And we'll fix the spelling of this particular species. Save it. We'll open it again as a notepad file to ensure that there's no extra hanging rows. We'll save it. And then we'll try the process again. We'll select that file. We'll upload it. We get the same message as before. Three records in the staging table. Let's check and load these records. And we get the positive confirmation. Your records have been checked, are now in the table bulk loader, and flagged as loaded. Bulk loaded record. This means that now the records are with your curator who can review them and confirm them and have them officially uploaded to Arctos. The last thing we need to do is delete that CSV file from the bulk loader. So select yep, delete away. And if we go back to the bulk loader, we'll see that there's nothing in the staging table. And congratulations, you've completed the bulk loading process.